It's called Fairy Tale on 12th Main. The birds have probably been awake for hours. Not the squirrels though. The knife grinders and carpet sellers call out so early from the crisscross streets, one can hear them in one's dreams. And yet they're out only much after the squirrels are already up, busily carrying invisible message messages up and down the telephone lines and whipping up a storm in the mango tree. Everyone's watch is set to a different time and the earth revolves slowly or fast depending on the state of one's heart. Inayat is awake and Hina asleep. The phone rings. Inayat gets out of bed. It's for you, Hina. The sound of the phone did wake Hina, but she's reluctant to move. She murmurs her indistinct waking up grumble with her eyes shut. Inayat smooths away the hair with which sleep has curtained her face and lies down beside her again. Once the day's routine takes over, Inayat will be like any working man sweating under his collar in a traffic jam and already looking forward to lunch break. But for these few minutes every morning, he wants nothing. His mind knows only one thing, Hina, and his heart feels only one paradox. His love for her doesn't measure up to his love for her. Every morning he considers her sweet, grumpy face and knows that nothing he says or does can fully convey his passion.